Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name's Sophia, and for all of my returning watchers, thanks so much for popping back on. So today, we have a thrifting video with Sophia. If you guys have been watching my channel consistently, you know I love to go thrift shopping. I love a good vintage store, I love a good rummage sale, I love to go thrift shopping, I love second hand. One, it makes me feel better about my purchase because it's sustainable. I'm buying second hand, therefore I don't feel as bad about purchasing. Um, and hopefully trying to slow down some of that fashion cycle because it is so fast and it is very harmful to our environment. Two, where are you gonna find other cute, unique things other than vintage thrift stores? Check out this sweater that I got. I mean, come on, it's literally the Princess Diana vintage sheep sweater. Hers was red, but mine's blue. Makes my eyes pop, pop. So, I have a Buffalo Exchange video for us today. This is my first time visiting Buffalo Exchange. There are multiple locations in New York City, but I hit up the one towards Fifth Ave. So I had some really good times looking through all of the stuff. We're gonna show you what I got, we're gonna style it, and of course it's gonna be lots of fun because it's Friday. So let's roll the intro, get right into it, and I'll show you what I got. So like I said, I visited Buffalo Exchange. Buffalo Exchange has been popping up all over my For You page, my Instagram, my TikTok, all of it. And I was seeing all of these young, cool, hip people finding all of these great finds. I went to Buffalo Exchange on Tuesday, club going up on the Tuesday. And it was just kind of like, oh, I have time. There it is. Let me pop on in. It was earlier in the morning and the store opened up at 11. I got there at mm, 10.50. There was a line to get in and they were all like really cool, hip Gen Z kids. And I was like, technically I'm a Gen Z kid, but I, you see how I dress. I do not dress like them. The Y2K, whew, I was like, they looked at me and I was like, no, I'm not a friendly librarian. I promise I'm here to find some cool, some cool clothes. Anyway, I get into the store and I was like, whoa, whoa. For those of you who don't have or live in the city or don't have a Buffalo Exchange or have never been to a Buffalo Exchange, I would say it's kind of on the same level as a closed mentor Plato's closet. Um, very similar setup, very similar pricing structure, um, dressing rooms, very stuff like that. I would say it's, it's a notch up. Um, they did have a lot of Halloween costumes out if you really wanted to do Halloween you know, they had lots of options for that I think I'm gonna pass this year. I still don't know what I'm gonna be for Halloween Like I know that's coming up like I need to figure out what I'm gonna be for Halloween I feel like I should do like a whole week of Halloween outfits The week of Halloween anyway, 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 so I had a really good time. I was a little concerned with seeing how seeing the kids the kids the youths show up and I was like, oh man like maybe this is not where I need to be shopping. Like maybe I need to like find, you know, a Sophia store. But I was very surprised and I did find some things that were more geared towards me, more of that classier, preppier workwear, I don't know, vintage look. And oh my gosh, let me tell you, there were some gorgeous vintage pieces, like legit vintage pieces in this store. There was this one fabulous black dress. It was gorgeous. It was a little off the shoulder moment. It was a, came about to my knee. It was fabulous, phenomenal. Um, I tried it on, it zipped, it was great. Just a smidge too tight in my hips though. Just a smidge. So I left it there. Um, but I did find a lot of fun pieces. I did not need anything. I didn't need anything. But as we all know, shopping makes my heart happy. So here's what I got. Also, if you watched my other thrifting video, you know, I didn't go plan on shopping, so I didn't have a bag. So once again, I had to buy a bag. But this is a really nice one, other than like that brown paper bag I was given last time. This one's a reusable one, and it's got cowboy boots on it. So I mean, it's so cute. Anyway, first, first piece. Knitwear is very big. It's always in on the seasonal times. I love a preppy piece. Okay, I saw this and I was like, oh, hello. Look how cute she is. She's a cream, chunky knit with the ruffles, 
with the ruffles, with the bow. Hello. Pop this on with my navy pants and some a little flats. Pop this on with a sweater. Pop this on with a pair of jeans. Pop this on with a skirt over a dress. She's so cute, so cute. She did not have tags on, but she is Alice Blue, size small, Alice Blue. Um, have never shopped Alice Blue before, but big fan, big fan. Really soft and warm, really soft and warm. One thing though is like, it needs to cool off here in the city because like, I don't know if it's just me, I don't know if it's the humidity, I don't know if it's the walking up and down, waiting for the train, like doing whatever, I sweat non-stop and like to begin with I sweat like a man like when I get sweaty like it's like whoo, like I'm like whoo. like I look like I have just like come off the field for a football game and I just like went at it. like I sweat sweat and like it's it's middle of October end of October and like I'm still sweating I'm still sweating and it's like 68 72 you know like it, it's cooled off but I don't know if it's just because I, I wear a lot of clothes or if it's just the hustle bustle or I don't know. But I'm, I'm hot. Like it needs, to, it needs to come it down. It needs to come down. To bring it down a notch. Next piece. Next piece. We all know I love a vintage find and we all know I love a Disney bound. So this is a twofer, okay? So Princess and the Frog. I mean, I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, how cute. It is this really sweet little yellow dress. I love it. It's got this cute little like swoosh across as you can tell. And then some buttons on the front pockets and it comes about mid calf. So she's a little bit longer, but is this not Tiana's dress that she's wearing when she's serving beignets? Totally is, right? Like, she, you know, when she's working, she's working to save all of, all of her money. And she goes, I ain't got time for fairy tales, taking the easy way. I've climbed a mountain and know where I'm going and I'm almost there. I'm almost there. You know that part? That's all I have to say. So that one's a two for for me. It's also my favorite color. I love yellow. Um, I struggle with yellow though because I do get very washed out, especially when I lose my tan. So this is a great yellow color for me. It's not quite yellow in your face, but it's also like that soft, like you still get it. You still get where we're going. Next, 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 next. Kind of an oddball purchase for me. Kind of an oddball purchase for me. Grand Millennial is very in right now. I quite enjoy the Grand Millennial style. If you don't know what I'm talking about, think of like whites and blues and like China, like not like China, China, but like like patterned plates, China. Um, like your grandma has China in her cupboard. Um, like blue and white vases and like Maine. I don't know why Maine comes to mind, but like that's like sailboats. Like that's where I'm getting at with this. Okay. So you know I love a button up and I thought this would be super cool styled. Like what? I, I don't know exactly where I'm going with this. It's a button up shirt. Okay. It's a button up shirt. It is longer. I thought, I thought originally when I pulled it, I was like, oh, she's long enough I could wear her as dress with some stockings underneath. I said, huh? Then I got to the dressing room and I said, Sophia, your booty makes it a little too short. And so we didn't do that. We're gonna have to do it with some tuck it tuck it in option. But I don't know, like it's very different for me. Like, like there's just like a dude fishing and he's just fishing on my shirt. And I'm like, I don't know. It's silk, it's gorgeous. It's, mm, it looks like Chiquita Stark. I don't think that's pronounced right, so I'm gonna show you the label. Yeah, yeah? You all know I'm dyslexic, I cannot read for good golly nothing. But I really love the structure of the shirt. As you can see, we've got down towards the bottom, can you see? We've got like these almost like pleated lines, like built in. I think it's really, really elegant and sophisticated. Plus we've got deep pockets in the front. 
I don't, I, like I said, I don't know yet where this is going. I don't know where it's going. I think I need to get into my closet and play around with it a little bit, but I'm, I'm excited to see where this journey takes me. I'm excited to see. Um, it's going to be interesting, but I was like, oh, that's so cool. Like it was just one of those pieces that I would like normally have not picked out for myself, but I was just pulling through the racks and I was like, wait, I really like that. Like that's kind of like, that's dope. Like that's cool. So my oddball purchase, last but not least, I guess this one's kind of an oddball purchase too, just because of the pattern. I have been very in to a long maxi dress. We all know I'm very petite in height, but I love, love a long dress. Now, I also enjoy a bold pattern. As you can tell, I'm wearing sheeps with polka dots today. I mean, that's where I'm at today. I'm wearing sheep and polka dots together. Mm, I'll mix it up. So, a snake skin zebra print, long flowy maxi, yeah? Little belt, and I got a little British there and these really pretty like shimmery buttons okay i was like hmm hmm um wilfred made in china like everything um but this i was like okay she's fall but hot pink royal blue green she goes with the colors um I kind of, I kind of want, you're gonna be like, Sophia, really, really? So boot situation wise, I guess I have riding boots at home in South Carolina home. But I, I really struggle with the boots because of my calf. Like, and I can't really tell, but like I have a pretty meaty calf. And so when it comes to like boots, like they're always like fine, fine, fine. And then like, and then fine. And I don't like that. So I, I don't wear boots a lot, but this dress, it just says like, wear me with boots. You know, it says, put some riding boots on with it. I don't have boots. I have my white little booties, my little poop poop. I have those, but I just don't know. I feel like this dress needs to be worn with some boots. So that's all I have to say. So that's what I got. Those are the four pieces I snagged. Um, I definitely tried on a lot more. I went in the dressing room with like nine or 10 things, but I said self-constraint. There were some really cute blouses that I pulled um, that were like J. Crew and Banana Republic, but they were like nothing special. And like, I didn't need to spend the money. Um, pricing wasn't bad. Like I said, I was towards Upper East Sider kind of thing so it was a little bit more expensive however I walked into a buffalo exchange yesterday closer to where I live um, in the West Village same thing not as nice a quality of product either so I think it depends who's donating donating what clothes wear it also like I said it's kind of like a Plato's closet clothes mentor you can like sign up for an appointment and like bring your clothes there and like they'll buy them back um, and give you cash. So it's kind of interesting about that part. And I really think like there's several locations, like I might need to go see the different locations to see like location wise, if that affects what's in the store. Cause I think it does. Cause like I said, I was towards the ritzier part of town and there was lots of nice stuff. And then I was over here, not saying that West Village isn't nice, but like it was not my style kind of stuff. Um, then again, I, I didn't really root very hard. I did find a J. Crew jacket there that was kind of cute, but it was too small, so I left it there. Anyway, 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 it's time to get to styling. I've chit-chatted too much. I don't talk to anybody here. I just talk to myself. So maybe that's why. I like to talk to myself on the camera. Hello. Let's get to styling. Okay, see you in a minute.
thanks so much for popping back on to my channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Throw a comment down below if you really liked an outfit. Don't forget, if you're also in the need or you're on the hunt for some fall fits, check out your local thrift stores. I absolutely love the four pieces that I got. I definitely enjoyed styling them in more of a casual and then fun way. I think it was super cool. And I will definitely be looking forward to wearing these fits out. Don't forget to see you um, next Friday. I don't know what else you would forget. Anyway, have a glamorous day. Love you all lots. See you next time. Bye. So two things. One, I like the orange with this outfit. Two, I tied, because the bow was supposed to be, but I took it to the back like this, and I feel like I've got more of a going on, which I like, but I, I want to see it with pink. So bear with me, we gotta try it with pink. Okay, so I know the orange was super cute and stuff, but like, I like this one more. So I, I really think it's really cool because like now I have in my noggin, probably like a school outfit. And then if I was going out later and need to run some errands, I would just switch my tennies, pop off the blazer. And like, she's still super cute for like weekend after school errand vibes, I think so. Um, I also think I could get away with layering. I have a tank, uh, a brown turtleneck that could go underneath. So if it does get, when it does get cooler, not if, when it does get cooler, I think that might be an option. There is something about putting together an outfit that you just feel like a million bucks in. Like I was really nervous about buying this shirt because I was like, that is a risky piece for me. Like, I don't know how I'm gonna style that and make it me, but I was like, I love the pattern. I know I can pull something off. I have not, like, this feels so Sophia. Like, yes, it's a lot. I've got on three pearl necklaces. I've got the headband, I've got the vintage earrings. I've got the pattern mixing. I've got hell tall heels on. And like, I feel so myself in this outfit. Like I like genuinely like cannot wait to wear this to school this week. Like let's be honest, I'm wearing this to school this week. I really, really love this outfit. Like I feel like a million bucks. I feel like a million bucks. And there's something so powerful about like putting it together an outfit that just makes you feel like I feel so fun. Like <laughs> I'm almost there. I don't, I know she has a, a green trench. I have a pink one. Um, I also have pretty much the same hat that she wears with the brown flats. Like, I feel like we could also go, now I'm Jane, Safari Safari. Um, if I have my purple ascot over there, we could just, but I've already done a Jane Disney bound at Disney. Um, so, oh, it has pockets. That's the best, best that's the best thing to, to find out about a dress, it has pockets. Okay, so now let's dress it up for real.